Hey people, it is Thursday, December the 7th. The time is 8.55 in the evening. It's currently 3 degrees Celsius. I'm in Berksy Park here in downtown Toronto. And I thought I'd just take a nice, pleasant evening stroll through downtown, making my way from here at Brooksy Park to another park where there is a popular skating oval during the winter season. And I think that skating oval has recently just opened to the public, so let's go to College Park and check it out from one popular downtown park to another. And I'll be just sort of wandering between the two parks in a fairly unplanned route here, taking in some Christmas decorations along the way. I thought I spotted a nice wreath over here. That's quite nice. I wonder if I can just walk right through. I've never been inside here before. great tree in here. Well, that was a worthwhile diversion. We emerge onto Young Street. Walk along front, maybe we'll go up to Bay Street. And then eventually I'll start making my way north because College Park is up that way.
Hockey Hall of Fame here. I didn't catch these on my other walks around the area. Nice little cluster of festive trees here. This is Brookfield Place. the Dominion Public Building across the street. Crossing Bay Street. Let's just keep going. Maybe I'll go to York Street and then start heading north. I know how to get to you. On our way to a skating rink, but I should mention that there's a new attraction inside Union Station there, which is a roller rink. That's right, you can put on some old school roller skates and skate your heart out in a special location inside of Union Station. And I did take a peek at that in one of my recent videos. I'd like to see what that looks like. in the Royal York Hotel.
Yes, I should actually. You know what? I'm going to take him right away. We can't give up. We can't. They got a nice okay, tree. Nice tree there inside the lobby here. I would go in, but I have a feeling those doormen might not be too cool with my walking in with a camera recording. York Street coming up. We'll yeah, go to the other side. Here's the Billy Bishop Toronto City Airport complimentary sh shuttle service where you can catch a shuttle bus from the hotel there to Billy Bishop Airport. And here's a sort of overlooked classic little skyscraper here. Early vintage skyscraper by early 20th century standards. Prudential House. Barty's Steakhouse. Some places I never really take too much note of here on this part of York Street. The detailing on this Prudential House is actually quite nice. I should look up this building and see what I can learn about it so next time I can talk a bit more knowledgeably <laughs> other than, hey, that's a nice building. Over there you can see the big trees at the TD Center. I got a closer look at those in a recent video and a live stream. There's a look west down Wellington Street. How in the world did this happen? Okay. 
horn right off of its <laughs> place on the sidewalk. That couldn't have been easy unless it got struck by a vehicle or something. Pretty quiet in the financial district right now, as it should be on a Thursday night in December. King Street. That's the Exchange Tower. A rather handsome office tower that gets completely overshadowed by its next door neighbor, First Canadian Place, which is about twice as tall. Got Earls here with some Muzak coming out onto the sidewalk. I'll just try to talk over that as we walk past. Let's point the camera over that way. <laughs> there are a number of these sort of restaurant bars throughout the financial district that get a lot of business from office workers socializing afterwards. West on Pearl Street. Adelaide Street now. Got a lone traffic cop here. Adelaide Street has been undergoing lots of reconstruction for many months now. Looks like it's getting closer to completion. why there's so much traffic on Adelaide on New York I should say see some trees in the lobby here I've covered most of this area in previous videos and streams Obviously, I didn't see everything. And another bar here, restaurant with the usual music coming out onto the sidewalk. I'm not sure which one this which one this is, but across the street there's the keg, which is actually a very decent steakhouse by chain restaurant standards. I would recommend it, even if you don't eat steak like me. 
it's a nice place to go. And the Brutalist Sheraton Center. One of the biggest hotels downtown. This is Richmond Street. Got more traffic cops here. Yep, things are definitely a bit congested, even at this late hour downtown, at least in this part of the financial district. Coming up to Queen Street, and you can see City Hall right over there. And Osgood Hall right here. <laughs> that guy literally just refused to get out of the way of the guy on the longboard. <laughs> he even sort of checked him with his elbow as he passed by. I was almost expecting him to pull something with me because of the camera, but maybe he didn't notice it. Here is Nathan Phillips Square, all decorated for the season. Is there loud music playing? That is the question. I'd like to get a nice shot of the skating rink, but there's always loud copyright music playing. I doubt I'll be spared this time, but let's just get a bit closer. Yep, I can hear it now. <laughs> well, I think this is about as close as I can get here, but you can see the rink is very busy. Like hundreds of people packing the rink right now and I'm going to move away from that <laughs> all right let's walk across the mud here to get away from the music 
Well, can't say I didn't try. get a bit of a better shot of the rink here without the music being too intrusive. Yeah, we found more snow. People enjoying themselves. showed this in a previous video but we are right here I'm not sure if I'll be able to get any closer to it though this bizarre fence doesn't seem to want me to There we go. And just not a fan of how they strung the lights on that tree. All right, let's go back through this maze of sorts again that's kind of a cool shot of the clock tower at old city hall with all the curves of new city hall framing it nicely i'm gonna have to come back and take a proper photo of that actually I guess it's 9.30 now.
that's a straight shot north up Bay Street to College Park. Bunker like Canadian tire store here. Definitely not the most friendly way to greet the street. Dundas. much in the way of festive decor along Bay Street. But fairly busy with pedestrian activity even though it's officially late night now. And a guy wearing Shorts in December. the first signs of Christmas decor I've seen along this part of Bay Street here.
Nothing new has moved in to replace this closed down Fresh City Farms store here. At the base of the Livemore apartment building. I wonder if they couldn't compete with the fine food market across the street here, which is open 24 hours. This is a purpose-built apartment building for rentals, but it's very expensive to live in. And that was Gerard Street we just crossed. We could enter College Park right here, but I'll go up to the next way in, which is a bit more visually interesting in my opinion. can enter College Park right here with the awesome view of the Aura condo. That's a 78-story condominium, currently the tallest residential building in Canada. But there are three new towers under construction right now in downtown Toronto that will surpass the aura in height. So it will go from number one tallest residential to fourth tallest 
in the very near future. It's quite a downgrade. And the rink is indeed open with skaters going round and round. This is the College Park Skating Oval, although it has a proper name, which I can't seem to remember right now. See how slippery it is. It's not too slippery to walk on. People are new to skating, obviously. <laughs> well, some look right at home. One time I caught the Zamboni on the skating oval. I turned that into a short. <laughs> Barbara and Scott. That's it. The Barbara and Scott Ice Trail. The name Dr. Lillian McGregor kept popping into my head because there's another downtown park that recently opened that was named after her. And for some reason, that was the name that kept popping into my head. But Barbara and Scott. There we go. So that's going to wrap up the walk from Berksy Park with the now dormant Dog Fountain. Kind of weaving through downtown in the financial district and through Nathan Phillips Square to Bay Street and north here to the Barbara Ann Scott Ice Trail at College Park. So I hope you enjoyed the walk on this very pleasant, mild Thursday evening. Lots of people out and about, and another guy with shorts to end things off. <laughs> so leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos. 
And if you'd like to support the channel, there are links in the description where you can do so via PayPal, as well as via my merch store. And you can also support the channel by becoming a channel member or through a super thanks if you prefer. And you can find me on Instagram under K Continuum. So thanks for watching. And be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue.